we're gonna financially recover from this. So we've been driving in this tunnel probably for like the last 15, 20 minutes. And I was like, damn, that's a very long tunnel. And I asked Vernon, because we have also internet right now. I'm like, hey, look up, where is the world's longest tunnel? Yes. It's in Switzerland, right? It's in the one that we're in right now. It, what <laughs> luck. <laughs> How many kilometers is it? I mean, we might as well get rid of our sunglasses. It's about 57 kilometers, which is 35 and a half miles. Um, so we're gonna be here for a while. Uh, I think that if we kept recording, this camera's gonna run out of battery. So, yeah. Oh, there goes our internet. Welcome, our welcome to the start of our trip. Oh, the longest tunnel, wow. At least we got a cute corgi back there. Atlas, where's your room? 613 is this one. Oh. oh, they gave them all. Oh my god, look how kind they are. They gave them a little bed in a bowl. That's so sweet. Atlas has got to scout the place. Is that the bathroom, Atlas? Good, good. Bathroom. I told you he's doing a room tour. <laughs> you got a good sized bathroom? Are there any views? I don't think so, bro. No, we got a lot of construction. You got a little bar. They always give you so much closet space. Nothing fan. There's a lot of doors. I don't know what that leads to. Oh, there's a balcony. Oh no. There. Okay, there's the opening. I can never find the opening. Ah. You gotta pull. You just gotta pull. Ah, okay. So let's see. All that college for that, you know. <laughs> you have two. Well, not much of a view, but. No. Unless you're really into construction, which but... not really many people are. Atlas, what do you think? I think he's just happy to be out of the car. I love that he can smell things that we can't. I hate yeah. that he can't speak English, so. He only speaks Italian. He can't really tell us. Hi! He's so happy. Unfortunately, due to all the traffic, we didn't make it to Lucerne till about 5.30. Originally, we wanted to be here around noon, but we still try to make the best of the time we do have in the city. Luckily, our hotel was literally right in the center of Old Town. This was literally like one minute walking from where we're staying. I love how you're walking casually on this bridge. Yeah. There's always a bee. Always it's a bee. always a bee. And look at the view behind you. Oh my god. This honestly feels like a fairy tale. This town's not real. It really does look like it. It's not real. It's, it's just look at this. This is incredible. Pictures and video do not do it justice. Wow. There's literally swans in this crystal clear lake, lake, river. Wow. As we were walking around and admiring the city, there were so many people that actually were admiring Atlas. And quite a lot of people decided to stop by just to pet him and take pictures of him. So if you're one of those people, definitely tag us on Instagram. I'd love to see the photos. You hear a lot of people online talk about how beautiful Switzerland is and how beautiful the cities here are. But honestly, I don't think you really understand how beautiful this country is. And I will say country, not just the cities as a whole because everywhere you look, it honestly looks just like the picture-perfect postcard. Atlas was starting to get a little tired and overwhelmed with all the people, so I decided to take him back to the hotel. If you're coming to visit Lucerne, I really hope I'm pronouncing the name right because I'm gonna get destroyed in the comments. But if you're coming to visit this beautiful city, I would definitely probably stay here for at least two to three full days our mistake but we will be coming back i mean look how stunning it is did, did you see that they have a starter called 007 shaken not stirred atlas is back at the hotel enjoying his rest and we're at a restaurant about to try our first ever swiss i was, not, I was about to say swedish i'm like wrong country swiss beer unfiltered I don't know if it's because it's super hot outside, but this tastes so good. What is that? Is that just bread? Onion. That's onion? Mm -hmm. Wow. I already had a fry. It's delicious. It's very garlicky. Oh my god. This is the worst part about eating sausage. Okay, okay. It's not gonna blow up all over me. Mm. It's very savory from the juices I dipped. So mine's a little bit more complicated to eat. I don't know what this is. I can't even pronounce this dish. I think this is a mushroom or a sausage. I can't tell. Is that good? So I have to destroy this beauty. Just cut it. Oh, it's all inside. It's like a puff pastry. I think these are little sausages. Like sausages and meatballs. 
extremely hot. Oh, that was a huge mistake. The ones inside are extremely hot. After an incredible dinner, we decided to walk the streets of Lucerne and check out more of Old Town. One of my favorite things about cities like this is the fact that the whole downtown area is based around either a lake or a river and it's just something so relaxing and soothing. You'll have these squares with a bunch of people, street performers, people having drinks and it's just I love this atmosphere. Then we stumbled upon a candy store and guess how much these flaming chips cost? That's like $7.50. I was shocked. <laughs> it's a good thing they have plenty of good delicious Swiss chocolate here. I'll stick to that. You know stuff is really expensive when it's in cursive. Vernie, know about this brand? I do. How much is it? How much is that watch? Am I uh, it's, seeing? It's only 23,000 francs, which is like probably like $26,000. Jesus Christ. The cheapest watch is... That's even more, that's 23 and a half. So the cheapest watch is 14,000, yeah. So the question is, is, do you want a car or do you want a watch? There's something back there, you see that something back there? It's 82,000, I don't know what it is. They Are you know kidding that. me? Yeah, look. <gasps> oh yeah, it's all the way back there. Yeah. The, it's probably a necklace or something. $82,000, Jesus Christ. You can buy a house in Italy for that price, like a, with a vineyard. Switzerland is known for some of their top luxurious watches. Guess what the most expensive one we saw was? It was 123,000 francs. You can buy a house. Uh, I'm okay. I will stick to my Apple watch. They're releasing a new one in the fall. I'll just get that one for a few hundred bucks. Um, thank you. We wanted to take a romantic stroll back through Chapel Bridge back to our hotel, um, but that turned out to be a mistake. Oh, oh these spiders are huge. Oh, hell no, I'm out of here. Oh, no, 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 I'm out of here. Nope. So the lady downstairs mentioned the mini bar is included. So let's see what's in the mini bar. What is that? I think these are like jello shots. Jello shots? I don't know. I don't know what this is, but we got Coca-Cola with sugar-free and regular. Ooh, we got orange juice, cause you know, you gotta be healthy. Oh, we got a Pinot Grigio. Nice. Oops. We got Puglia, some type of wine. So of course everything's Italian. Oh, we got beer, Vern. We got two, um, we got two beers. I'm not, pronoun I'm not pronouncing that name. Sorry about the sound. Atlas having, is having his dinner since we had ours. I asked the guy here for a very good strong coffee and honestly now I'm a little nervous because I don't know what their definition of a strong coffee here is because this looks like it might give me a heart attack. <laughs> Look at this. And Vernon got the sample size of that same strong coffee. Look at this. I ended up having this cheesy onion toast with a salad and Vernon had poppy seed crepes with I think they were apricots. If you look closely at the water, you can actually see straight through the water. That's how clear the lake is. You can see the actual fish and the algae growing there. Lucerne also has free public transportations if you're a visitor there and you're staying overnight at the hotel, which was very convenient and I wish we could have taken advantage of that. I think one of the things I definitely regret is not coming here sooner because it definitely, I think, lives up to the hype. What do you think? No, it's beautiful. I mean, everywhere is beautiful. The businesses are well decorated. The people are friendly. I mean, the weather's incredible. It, it smells great. I don't know if there's just like cologne all over the city, but it smells really, really nice. Everything that you could want in the city. This is probably the most livable place that we've seen so far in Europe. Yeah, I think, yeah, this is just, people are so nice. That's what's crazy, like, it's just extremely, like, because I don't know, I think a lot of people think because they're close to Germany and France, they won't be as nice, but people here have been super kind. Sorry, French and Germans, sorry. People come to Switzerland to buy watches and bougie stuff. I came here to buy candy <laughs> from Japan and Korea. 
I definitely also noticed that this city is more of a night city. In the morning, there are businesses open, but not as much. Also, I realized a lot of the businesses were open till like midnight, two, three, and even 4 a.m. So definitely plan to stay out longer here at night. What kind of map is this? This is where pretzels come from. This is why they were created here. You're gonna do a room tour here too? Come on, let's show. Let's show the room. So this one's much bigger. Way bigger. Ooh, big mirror. Yes, perfect. Well, I wonder what's in the menu fridge here. <laughs> or if it's included, like the last one. Oh no, they better have the AC. Do they have not have AC here? Why does he have the window open? Do they not have AC? Is that like a special thing you have in your Are you serious? Oh, is, the, is there no AC? <gasps> well, it's kind of cool in here, actually. Maybe they don't do AC because uh, Grindelwald is actually a lot cooler than the last place that we were in, by like 10 degrees almost. This is a disaster. No, it's not a disaster. Oh, I don't know what the... Gotta always find where the little switches are. Good sized bathroom, much bigger than the other place, but downside, no AC. Yeah, that's a bit of a problem in uh, the end of August. But like I said, um, it is a lot cooler here than the other place, so we'll see about that. It was about lunchtime, so we wanted to go find some authentic Swiss food. And unfortunately, all the restaurants we wanted to check out didn't open till dinner, but we did find some pretty good burgers and beer. So we were debating whether or not to have fondue. But then Vernon used ChatGPT to ask it when's the best time to have fondue and they recommended for dinner time. So stay tuned for that. But we were trying to find something good to eat in this town and it's actually kind of difficult because it's kind of split. Like half the restaurants are good, the other half are just like eh. So we came across this burger place. So we got these burgers with Vernon's favorite cheese. So yeah, he'll enjoy that. It's probably not a cheese I've ever had, but I, I, it's, it smells kind of strange already. I'm curious as to what it tastes like. So you first. You want me first? Okay. Ladies first. It's very heavy, very juicy. What does it smell like? What does the cheese smell like? It smells like dirty socks to me. You're very appetizing. Thank you for that. I can't bite it. It's too big. Mm -hmm. Good. It's not stinky. You know what I hate on a burger? Lettuce. It's funny editing this, the mountains don't look so big, but when you're walking down in the city, in the valley, you honestly feel just like engulfed by the mountains all around you. We dedicated the rest of the Saturday to explore the city or the little village here, but honestly, we probably should have just went on the hike because there's not really that much to do in the city here. It seems like there's a lot of buses that come visit here from other towns for people that are doing day trips to the city and kind of using this place as a jumping off point to go on a hike or go camping somewhere else in the mountains. I was honestly horrified by this. 24 francs for a Hawaiian pizza? That's like $27 for a Hawaiian pizza. Come on. There happened to also be a festival going on in the city. So you'll see men with these giant cowbells and they'll kind of move them in a rhythmic way to create a uh, music and create kind of this rhythm and sound. I wasn't really sure what it meant. If you know, comment down below. We were just here honestly for the really good beer and the really good food. <laughs> Vernon's milking the mustard. 
Now I'm milking the ketchup. One of the things I also did notice that the nights get very cold very fast here so definitely do bring a sweater because the days can be as high as 90 degrees Fahrenheit and at night I think it dropped down to about 58 so a pretty big difference but we enjoyed our first sunset here and just really marveled at how stunning everything here is. It's only appropriate that when you're in Switzerland, you have to go on at least one hike. So we woke up pretty early, literally at the butt crack of dawn. We had some breakfast at the hotel and we decided to do, well, we decided to go on a hike. Uh, honestly, I was a little nervous. Didn't know what to expect because a lot of people there seemed like they know what they were doing. They were very prepped and we are newbies that have no idea what's going on. We don't even know how to use one of these uh, gondolas, these cable cars. I think I've been on a cable car like this when we were in Spain, but it was a very short ride, maybe like five minutes, and it wasn't even that high up. This one, I think we rose about, I wanna say 4,000 feet in altitude, because I definitely kind of felt the pressure change and like I'm very sensitive to that, but that it kept getting higher, the wind was increasing, so you just kind of have the cable car move a little bit. But the views, honestly, in the end, it was about 23 minutes, the views were totally worth it. How do you feel? Dude, it's so cool up here. I honestly thought we were gonna be needing these sweaters, but I think this is overkill. It's awesome, it's so, it's so beautiful. The cable drive was a little sketchy. The cart yeah. was shaking a little bit. I thought it were gonna be the bigger ones, but it's like these tiny four or five seaters, and you're going like hundreds of meters, I think, into the air. So I was a little nervous. I think uh, Atlas was a little nervous, but we made it. And now we're gonna do a little hike to Bacalapsi. Bacalapsi? Yes. We can't pronounce any of the words here. <laughs> don't, yeah, don't follow our pronunciation. <laughs> but yeah, let's start the hike because I think it's about one hour. Let's go. Also, I want to mention in this video that the cable cars, those gondolas, the verniculars, when you take them, they are not cheap. So definitely when you budget for Switzerland, budget into account the gondola costs because it took for the two of us, the dog was free. I think it was like $120 round trip just to go, just to do the cable car. So definitely take that into account when visiting Switzerland. You just hear my heavy breathing in all the video. It's like, just me dying. We're not even like halfway there. Halfway there? We're not even one tenth of the way there. I'm optimistic. That's literally where we started. Shh, they don't gotta know that. On a little stream let's see atlas usually hates water atlas come on come here come on let's see where he does come on come on come on come on come on what do you think oh he's drinking it Run, he's drinking it <laughs> good boy good boy atlas approves of the swiss water Good. Oh, it's probably nice and cold. Is it cold? Very. Oh, that's perfect. Mm -hmm. 
I don't think Atlas has ever seen a cow. Look. That's Have a good one. That's crazy. They tell you it's about a 15 minute hike here. For us, with all the stops, it was about, I think, maybe 115, 120. So we brought some meats. Atlas is excited for that. We got chips, we got protein bars. So we're gonna do a little picnic and enjoy this thing, this thing called nature that looks like a green screen, I swear. Anywhere you go in Switzerland, it just feels like a Windows desktop. It just this doesn't feel real there's people crazy enough to go paragliding yeah. i am never doing that <laughs> would you do that mm. well, yeah probably it looks really cool maybe after like three or four beers mm. it's a reward <laughs> The hike back took a little over an hour. We were in no rush, but for the second half of the day, we did want to explore the other picture-perfect town that was only 50 minutes away by train. So we're deciding what to order, and this is like a traditional Swiss restaurant. And whenever we go to a country or a place, we don't know anything about it. I look at the menu and I order the thing with the most words I cannot pronounce and have zero idea what they mean, because you know that's traditional. And Vernon, for some reason, wants pasta, because you know we don't live in Italy. Like, <laughs> they had this um, get, like, pasta with applesauce on it. Look at him, he's so sunburned. I am. I. I am definitely, I'm getting a cider. It's it's really hot, but I think ciders are awesome. Uh, I think I'm gonna get the sous vide cooked pork belly. That sounds good, see, okay. As long as it's not pasta. Mostly because I know that whatever I get, Marianne's gonna want too, and we have to share it, so. Get yourself a husband like that.
we had to leave the donut place because we literally got swarmed with bees and Vernon. All is, for donuts. All, more now than ever is uh, been attracted to bees. <laughs> bees I, attract to him. I've been I've been to Dunkin' Donuts more times in my life than I'd like to admit, and I've never been attacked by bees. But mm. for some bizarre reason, this little vendor, uh, mm -hmm. he's just covered in bees everywhere. How is it? Delicious. Worth it. Worth the potential death for bees. These are good. Mm -hmm. Mm. Also, beautiful city. <laughs> we keep showing the food and like the little things, but beautiful here. We're trying to find this one spot to take really nice photos. You can see the photo on our Instagram if we succeed. Either way, it'll be on Instagram. It's right by the train. It's so beautiful. Let's see. The best fondue in town. Well, we won't know because we're not fondue experts. I thought Vernon was trying to be romantic, but I don't know. Hopefully they gave us the right table. Romantic me? I try, but... <laughs> Last time we had fondue was in Chicago. 